kind of made me just grow up fast because I knew that if I didn't, it could end up my mum getting more ill. She had cancer three times um, on and off and right now she has kidney problems as well as a load of other complications from surgeries. I'm a young carer since I was five on and off. Um, I'm 17 and a bit. Every other kid was like playing games outside. I didn't really get to go out. And I just remember not really feeling like a kid. I wouldn't really care about things that kids would really care about. I think it somehow made me and my mum's relationship a lot stronger because, I don't know, we have like kind of mutual respect for each other where it's just like, I love you, you love me. Let's not mess about, like, this is our family. Let's just be happy. If I could be any superhero, it'd probably be The Flash. I kind of just relate to him. He kind of lost a lot when he was young. I just kind of always wanted that in my life. Something to come and help. I also like the thought of moving places fast, because if I ever need to like, help my mom, that would be really useful. She had her first attack when I was little. I didn't really know what was going on, but I knew how serious the situation was. Somehow I knew what her recovery position was, so I kind of just put her on her side, and I called 999, and they eventually turned up, and that's really how it started. I definitely wasn't okay that it was a lot. Just feeling worn out every day. Getting into my bed and just being like, oh, well, at least I survived the day. And I would have like really bad dreams about it. And I would like stress about like my mum being ill. And just all of that when I was a kid probably wasn't the greatest. I kind of just assumed the role of parent as much as I could. I remember like my first couple days of year seven, going in the first couple days, you like make friends and stuff. But I was at home with my mom. And when it comes to just social situations, I think that I'm more like reserved. I stay on the sidelines for quite a lot. I talked to someone about being a young carer once and they basically told me just to toughen up. I should just not really show my emotions and just need to get on with it, which I took to heart. I don't really open up about my emotions. I don't really like cry that much. I just kind of keep it to myself. I just don't really want to let it out because I've built it up for so long that I'm pretty sure if I did let it out, it could just break me as a person. <laughs> on a rough day for my mom, um, I will probably stay up until like three, four in the morning just to stay with her if she's being sick. If she's up for eating, if not, then I basically have to be like, eat food or I'm gonna be upset, please, please eat food. And if she's in a stable state to walk, I walk her into the bathroom, sometimes carry her. If she needs me to come in and help, I do. Probably my biggest fear, like, overall as a carer, is thinking that my mum won't really be there for me graduating, like, university, or getting married, having kids. It's always just in the back of my head, just, like, scratching away. She says that she will, and that she'll get better, but I know that eventually she's just not gonna be there anymore. Just, I don't really know how to like deal with that thought because I love my mom to bits. She's my mom, like I, I, I love her. And the fact that I can't do anything to stop like what's happening to her, it just scares me that like I'm not gonna have that one day and I'm not gonna have that.